By the end of this video, you'll learn about the amazing feature of AI Foundation, which is plane detection, where you'll be able to detect horizontal and vertical planes, which you can use in your AR application. So let's get started. Hey, what's up? This is Ashray from Immersive Insiders and on this channel, we help you become professional XR developers and designers. In today's video, we are going to talk about plane detection using AI Foundation and uh, this video is divided into two sections. In the first part, we'll learn how to create our custom AR plane and in the second one, we'll implement the AR plane detection. So let's get started. Okay, so here I have my Unity project open, which is already set up for AR and for Android deployment. Now I'm not going to waste your time talking about all the settings that are required and that's because I've already covered in my previous video which you can check it out over here. But to give you a brief overview I'm using Unity version 2021.3.4 f1 and if we check out the packages I'm using AR Foundation version 4.3.2 and the AR Core version is also 4.3.2. Now I've created an empty scene named it as plane detection which just has um, main camera and direction light. The first thing to do here would be to get rid of the main camera and add the two important components that is uh, AR session origin and AR session itself. Now let's create our custom AR plane. To do that, you can right click in your hierarchy window, create an empty game object, call it as AR plane and then you can select it and add the component AR plane. Now this AR plane component basically represents the plane that is detected by our device, by our phone. Now, along with AR plane, we need another component which is called as AR plane mesh visualizer. So now this component uh, uses the vertices that are formed and creates a mesh and then assigns it to three more components. One is the mesh collider, uh, the mesh renderer and the line renderer. So let us go ahead and add those three components. So the first one would be a mesh collider and the second one is a mesh renderer. But you cannot render a mesh just with that one component we need mesh filter as well so let us first add the mesh filter this basically collects all the data for rendering the mesh and then we'll add the mesh renderer now the mesh renderer will use all the data from the mesh filter and render the mesh for us and last we need the line renderer all right now let us set up each one of these components now to begin with uh, we have mesh renderer it has uh, we have to add a material for this now to create a material, you can right click in the assets, click on create and let us create a material. We'll name this as plain material. Now this plain material is going to be the one that is going to get covered inside the boundary. So let us select it to be something like transparent and let us reduce the alpha value and change maybe its color. Let it, it, I think it could be white. That's perfectly all right. Next, uh, we'll select AR plane and now we can drag and drop this in here. Perfect. Now we'll set up the line renderer. Now here the width is too much. We can reduce it to 0.1 or maybe even lesser. It's up to you. I'll make it 0.01 and let us change the color. I'm going to make it like red and let us change the corner vertices to 4 and 4. So what? corner vertices means is that the higher the value of it the smoother your curve will be so it determines how many vertices are to be there between two line segments and we'll uncheck world space and we'll add default material itself default line there we go we do not want shadows so we'll click switch it off that's it so the last thing to do here would be to drag and drop the airplane into the project window so as to convert it into a prefab and get rid of it from the hierarchy. So with that, we have created our own AR plane. I know that there are certain pre-built assets like the feather plane from Unity sample, but for some reason, if you don't like it, now you know how to create your own AR planes. Now to implement the plane detection, you can click on AR session origin, add a component called as AR plane manager. Now this requires a plane prefab which I've already created. So you can drag and drop it in here. And we can choose the detection mode to be either horizontal, vertical or both of them. So I'm going to leave it at everything so that it can detect both horizontal and vertical planes. Now you can save the scene and go to file, build settings. You can add the open scene and make sure that the scene plane detection is added. And then make sure you're connected your device and then you can click on build and run. 
I'm going to call this as test3 and save. So while it builds, if you feel that these videos have helped you, then I'd highly appreciate it if you can subscribe and leave a thumbs up, which shows us to produce more videos for you. And I'll see you once it's done building. By the way, we have a free ebook linked in the description, which talks about the biggest mistakes you could make as an aspiring XR developer. Now this will give you a huge advantage over others. So you should definitely check it out. So here we can see the plane detection in action. First the floor gets detected and then the table. And here are some horizontal plane as well. Now to see the vertical plane, let me just scan the monitor over here. There we go. So you can see the vertical plane as well. So if you don't like the way it looks, you can change the prefab in the editor. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about AI Foundation, then you should definitely check out this playlist. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next one.